Let's break stuff. Itsy ads are unfair for many of us, but Itsy might have made a mistake. If you release the algorithm telling us why things are so unfair, we might be able to use that to break stuff. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, you're going to want to check my yesterday's video. Etsy just released, just a couple of days ago, they released the algorithm for their ads. And it is explaining why the majority of people I talk to, ads has moved to making people almost one pound, almost only one pound or one dollar for every one pound or one dollar spent. So the ads pretty much... Well, Etsy would like to think they break even or they, they say they give us a small amount of profit, but that's not how it works. That's not profit. That's not good enough. So to understand all that, you want to dive back into yesterday's video. But I've been looking at it, running some numbers, doing some thinking. So I do have some ideas on how we can hack Etsy using their own algorithms. So the first thing that we learnt from these algorithms is this is a very sophisticated algorithm. It's do it's really cool and it's doing its job perfectly. And what it's doing is figuring out the expected chance, minute by minute, it's figuring out the expected chance of our item selling, knowing how much money it's going to make if it sells, to figure out how much they should charge us a maximum click, a maximum vid, bid for our clicks. So if someone clicks on our item, it'll balance out that all the clicks it takes to make a sale, we're going to break even pretty much. Now they tell us there's a factor that they, that they add in here so we make slightly more, but talking to people that slightly more is pretty much it's one to one. Um, <laughs> there might be slight variations. So this factor that people are telling me they make through the ads pretty much as much as what it's costing them in ads is telling me two things. Firstly, that the factor they put in is very tiny. Etsy is setting this price it is just breaking even. This is the maximum click. And it's also telling us that the vast majority of people, their ads, they are paying the maximum cost per click. So if you have a better return on ad spend, that means that you are not paying this maximum cost per click. So what does this mean? Let me explain this a little bit for you. The cost per click, this is like a kind of bidding war. When someone searches for something, when someone searches for a keyword, the algorithm looks and says, who are all these people that want to pay for adverts here? And this is like an eBay auction. So you've got all the people who want to advertise. You've got a bunch of people sitting going, hey, eBay auction, I really want to buy this thing. And everyone puts in their top bids. So everyone's bidding against each other. You all know how it works on eBay. If you look and somebody that the top bid at the minute is five pounds and you decide you really want to buy this, but the most you want to pay for it is seven pounds. You put in a bid of seven pounds. If nobody else's bid, it might only go up to five pounds, 10 pence or something. But if there's a lot of people bidding, it might go up to the seven pounds if and if someone's bid more than seven pounds then the item price will shoot right up to seven pounds and ten pence and that person that had put in the higher bid is now paying seven pounds and ten pence so that maximum cost per click is your maximum bid that's you saying i am willing to pay up to that much to be seen for this search term in this ad. Or rather, one Etsy algorithm is telling another Etsy algorithm that it's going to pay, on, it's, it's willing to let these sellers pay this much. So yeah, that's dodgy at best of times. But anyway, so that maximum, that cost per click that it's calculated is the maximum you're willing to bid up to. So now we know that and hopefully kind of understand it's a complicated system and it's clearly a very sophisticated one that is very accurately predicting our chance of selling. But knowing this, what kind of things can we deduce about it? Firstly, the maximum cost per click is calculated by the amount of money you're going to make each see how likely you are to convert and how much your item costs. So the items that are going to be given the option to have the highest cost per click are the items that are going to make Etsy the most money. So the highest converting, highest cost items are going to have the highest cost per click and they're going to be able to outbid 
some of the least well-performing items. So this is why some people put on ads and they don't see any clicks. They're not even getting many impressions for what could be popular keywords. So it still might be a case that you're not being seen for the highly competitive keywords, even when you're paying for ads, because your listing isn't expected to convert so much. Unfortunately, the best listings are going to have the best chance of being seen on ads because they make it see the best money. And this should work to an advantage in some ways as well, because it's less likely to show items that are less likely to convert, so less likely to show items that are less relevant. So as it gets better and better, you should be hopefully showing up less for Gucci if you happen to help sell a handbag. Because basically if your item isn't a Gucci handbag, it's less likely to sell to people who are searching for Gucci handbags. And it also kind of tells us that our best converting keywords are more likely to show up for the ads. So they're the ones that are more likely to burn through our budget. So we are still getting some good data in our ads dashboard. If we're seeing certain items and certain keywords are getting lots of impressions and lots of clicks, it's saying the algorithm is actually telling you compared to other things that could be shown there, yours is quite a good item. So the ads might be helping but just figure out as well let's double down on this keyword maybe we can start having our items show up in organic free search for these keywords that would be ideal and how much profit you're going to be making for these ads is depending on the other types of listings around you if all the other listings you're competing against have a much much lower cost per click than you then what's going to happen there is you are going to win the bid you're going to win that cost per click before you reach your maximum so if you think about it as when that ad auction happens if your item has a 10 cents per click maximum cost per click but all the other listings there only have a five cents per click their potential budget for this will be used up and get to five cents per click and Etsy say that you only pay one cent more so you will win the bid with six cents per click so this means if your ad was being shown at 10 cents per click that would be your break even point if you're managing to be shown for a smaller click through rate six cents per click then you're going to make more profit so we want to be able to figure out how to be seen in search terms where your item has a higher cost per click than all of the other competition so there's a couple of ways that really stand out here if your item is being shown for a very very highly competitive keyword phrase then there is going to be lots and lots of listings aiming for that. So the chances of there being lots and lots of listings that are at least as good, that have got at least as good a chance of converting as you is pretty high. So the chance of that bidding war going much, much higher, the chance of everyone alongside you having a similar cost per click to you. So basically the winner has run up to their maximum cost per click. Therefore, the profit margin is tiny, is quite high. So this makes me think that we want to be focusing in on advertising listings that are not aiming for very, very competitive keyword phrases. The very, very competitive keyword phrases are going to be expensive for us if we were able to aim for keyword phrases that were much less competitive then the chance of us having a really awesome item that's more likely to convert than everyone else's therefore us have a far higher cost per click than everybody else so therefore us not having to bid all the way up to our maximum cost per click I know this sounds confusing trust me I've, I've run the numbers <laughs> but this this means that we won't be being charged our full cost per click on a really uncompetitive or less competitive keyword phrase so you don't want to aim for them very broad keyword phrases like ring because there's going to be lots of people there with expensive and highly converting keywords so your cost per click is going to be at maximum so 
your profit is going to be nothing. And there's the other interesting thing. If your item is very expensive and everybody else's is cheap, if everybody has a similar level of conversion, but your item is likely to make much more money because it's more expensive, then your cost per click is going to be much higher than everybody else's. Your profit per sale is going to be much higher than everybody else's, but their cost per click is so much lower. So how much you pay to beat all them and get the top and get the top bid to your advert scene is going to be much less than your maximum cost per click therefore a higher profit margin so if you can find a keyword phrase where you have a really good item that converts really nicely but is a higher price than everybody else then you've got a chance of making better money with the ads. And I know this is a scary thought for some people. So many people are at a race for the bottom to have the cheapest items. But it might be an idea that you want to be advertising your more expensive items because you might just get a better return on investment. I know this is confusing, so I've kind of run some numbers. I don't know if this will help or make it more confusing, but I'll put it here. You can have a look, see if it helps you. So firstly, we're looking at the numbers that Eatsy gave us and we'll consider this an average item so for every 1000 clicks it makes five sales and those sales that the cost of that sale is $20 and um, so it figures out that 0 0.005 so that's five and a thousand times 20 equals 10 cents cost per click that's the maximum bid. So for every a thousand clicks it makes five sales at twenty dollars each so that makes a hundred dollars for those thousand clicks and for a thousand clicks at ten cents each that equals one hundred dollars so that perfectly adds up. So if you had an item that has the exact same conversion rate the exact same chance of selling but instead of twenty dollars it's a hundred dollars. Now I'm just going to slightly round up and say it's against all the other all these average items that have their ten cents cost per click but this item is a hundred dollars to sell so that calculates out at a cost per click of 50 cents per click but the bidding war everybody else is done at 10 cents per click so you add i'm just going to round up so you win that ad and pay 10 cents per click so for your more expensive item those thousand clicks have aren't you $500? But because you're paying the lower cost per click, it's only going to cost you $25 in clicks to get that. So if you have the most expensive item, but you're only paying the cheaper, the cheaper type items cost per click, you can get a much better return on investment. And the same, if your item converts far higher than everybody else in the search, if your item is that much better than everybody else's, then this kind of maths works as well. So we can kind of hack the algorithm. Obviously, these are very sophisticated algorithms. So it's not easy just to say if we do this, that and the other thing we will win because it depends on how customers deal because it depends on so many factors, how likely people are to buy compared to other people's items, the time of the day, where people are searching from, the cost of your items, the cost of other people's items. But if for your advertising, you're searching for low competition keywords, you're searching where there aren't that many buyers, or you're searching for keywords where all your competition has very cheap items. Now, the problem with that might be that the buyers are looking for cheap items, but it's worth a gamble. And this might be the people who are doing really well with ads might have already found these fantastic keywords and they are being found in places either with super long tail keywords where there's not much competition or in places where they they have the luxury item that they are actually selling for a lot more than the competition. So it's not ideal, but now Etsy's given us the algorithm, there's a way we can kind of hack it. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of all this. Don't forget, if you don't know what I'm talking about, nip over to yesterday's video 
and you can get links to where Eatsy's even put up what the algorithm is for advertising. You can see today I'm a lot calmer. And if you want to get involved in this conversation even more, I'll be going live on Sunday where Needle Felting a Dragon and a Cat, but I am always available for extra chat if you want to talk to me live then. Okay, have a great weekend. Uh, happy advertising.